I no longer want to fight with my colleagues in Congress. Lahat ng mga kasamahan ko, atat na atat na umatake. At sabi ko sa kanila, pag lumaban tayo, there's a point of no return. Kasi kung magkakainitan ng dugo ang House and uh, Senate, Paano, na, paano natin may papasay mga batas natin? Sir, you said that President Marcos parang commanded you that Senate will take the lead um, yes. in terms of amending the Constitution. But uh, mas gusto niyo policy making, so Public Services Act. But by any chance, does that mean, sir, that you will be, the, the Senate is more open to charter change this time around since may order na kayo from the President? Ganito kasi yan, yung... The complaints of some of the investors. The question, the question first asked is, do we need to amend the Constitution, right? So now, we feel in the Senate that after passing the Public Services Act, hindi na po kailangan amendahan yung ating provision when it comes to economic, um, uh, economic uh, amendments. Unfortunately, my pending... Uh, may pending case sa Supreme Court, marami po nag-file. So, ang nangyayari daw, maraming natatakot pumasok sa bansa dahil maski na meron na po tayong batas, wala pong TRO, but what if after one or two years, the uh, Supreme Court declares it unconstitutional? And once the Supreme Court declares it unconstitutional, paano daw nila ma babalik sa 60-40 yung kanilang mga investments? So, may rason. No, may mga mabibigat din na rason and that's why we are open up with the leadership of the Senate we had several meetings with the senators after we are open, open rather to discussions on the amendment of the Constitution on these particular provisions but we are going to do it um, separately voting separately and that is why we have prepared a resolution now signed by myself, Senator Lauren Legarda and Senator Sani Angara on the economic provisions, amendments of the economic provisions of the Constitution. So with this, um, we had asked uh, the, the, the majority members had asked Senator Sani Angara to lead a subcommittee on the uh, Committee on Constitutional Amendments uh, to tackle this particular issue. We chose Senator Sani Angara kasi kailangan talaga natin dito ay abogado. So, uh, with due respect, hindi ko pa nakakausap si Senator Robin Padilla. Um, he's still abroad. But when he comes back, kakausapin po namin siya at uh, magre-request po kami na kung pwede, para dito sa usapin na ito, we will ask uh, a creation of a subcommittee for this purpose. So, uh, just to make a long story short, we had a meeting, um, uh, the chain of events that had happened. So, uh, nag-meeting po, ta uh, nag po tayo nag Nakipag-meeting po ako kay Presidente Nung Tuesday And uh, I raised the alarm About the People's Initiative He was very gracious enough to meet with me And we discussed um, How we can diffuse The situation In fairness to the President Hindi niya po alam yung, na yung People's Initiative language was to uh, Diminish The powers of the Senate and uh, after that, he asked me to meet with the speaker. We met with the speaker. We, I met with him uh, uh, on Wednesday, oh, sorry, Tuesday evening, after which we had a lively and vigorous debate on the issue. And uh, we all decided to meet with the president once again at 3 p.m. in Malacanang last Thursday. In that meeting, we, well, we were there early, so uh, uh, we met together with uh, Senator Lauren Legarda, kasama po namin, si Congressman uh, Sandro Marcos, uh, Sap uh, Anton Lagdameo, uh, and uh, the Speaker and myself. <clears throat> In that meeting, we discussed the scenarios. And of course, I defended the position of the Senate na talagang malabo yan kasi as far as we're concerned, their plan is unconstitutional because we are a bicameral system of government. Kaya, nung pagkita po natin kay, Pres kay Presidente, um, we decided, the President, first of all, and I'd like to thank the President 
for his comment that the PI is too divisive. And he even mentioned news items from the major networks that he watched the night before. That sabi, oh, nagkakagulo na, bakit nagkakaganyan, uh, uh, may bayaran. And he said, he even said na, and I thank the president for this, because he even said na, eh ako dati ako senador. Eh bilang dati senador, hindi din ako papayag na ma-undermine o ma-diminish ang kapangyarihan ng senado sa pagdating ng usaping uh, bicameralism or bicameral form of government. So maganda po ang direksyon ng Pangulo. And ang um, sabi niya sa akin, at kay Speaker, sabi niya, why doesn't the Senate take the lead in the discussions of the economic provisions and then you approve your version which the House can adopt? So that was the position of the President. Para hindi na tayo maglalagay pa kung ano-ano pang mga uh, uh, amendments na sa tingin natin ay magagalit ang taong bayan. So, um, that was quite clear in the meeting. And that's why in the Van de Honor, medyo smiling na po kami ng uh, Speaker of the House at uh, ang Presidente ng Senado. Because we were able to resolve that very big issue. That night, nag-meeting po kami with the senators. We had about 14 senators that met that night. And we discussed the possibilities. Nakuha ko naman po yung uh, full support ng majority of the majority members of the Senate. Uh, we were also there. Uh, we also had a member of the minority there, Senator Riz Santiveros. And of course, we said to her that uh, we know their position. We will respect their position, but I'm being transparent. As the Senate President, I want to be transparent that these uh, discussions will be taking place once the Senate resumes on January 22. Sorry, sa pa. Sir, kasi ever since naman, di ba, divided yung Senate in terms of cha-cha. And parang kayo mismo yung nagsabi dati, sir, na pag pinush yan, hindi talaga yan mananalo dito sa Senate. But since kayo mismo, sir, yung may reso na, did you get the support of the 14 senators para pumasa po yung uh, economic provisions cha-cha? We got the support of the, all the senators that were there except, of course, for the minority. The minority is not committal. They have to see the amendments first. They want to participate in discussions and the debates. I'm talking about Senator Visa. She was the one who said na, na hindi wala mo na siyang may dadagdag. Although she was happy that, uh, that the discussions will be moving away from the plan of the PI na ikapon kami. Uh, happy po silang lahat na ang sinabi ng Pangulo na dapat dito na tayo sa ganitong klaseng proseso. Hindi po yung sa gusto ng uh, uh, People's Initiative na yan na EDSA Puera na gusto nilang ikapon ang Senado at magkakaroon po ng mga posibleng amendments na hindi po natin uh, makokontrol bilang Senado. Because you have to remember that the, the, uh, the gist of this proposal is pagdating po ng isang constituent assembly which can be called by either one, ha? hindi joint. Either one can call for this. I... Three-fourths vote lamang ang kailangan. So I did a simple computation. Kung 300 congressmen yun at 24 senators, that's 324. Technically, three-fourths vote is only 243. So maski na po mag-walkout po tayo, uh, maski na po absent kami, they can amend the Constitution. And we can no longer protect the people's interest in the system of checks and balances that we are which is enshrined by the Constitution through a bicameral form of government. So, so we need 16, but we only have 13 for now. Is that no, no, we need a, a total of 18 votes when it comes to amending. Because two-thirds and 16, three-fourths is 18. Sir, if you have the Speaker who has the economic provisions, the amendment? Well, what you've always said is that he just wants to amend it because of the economic provisions. According to him, officially in front of me. Any, I don't want to put any words in the speaker's mouth. I would rather that you ask the speaker himself on his position. Was it clear that he's speaking uh, for, the, for the 300 members of the House of Representatives during the meeting? Nandun din naman si Sandro. So Sandro is a, a senior deputy majority floor leader. And uh, um, I believe the message was loud and clear. I, I hope that the message was loud and clear. Sir? So, um, 
SP, uh, isundan ko lang yung kay Marlon. During that meeting, was there a commitment given by Speaker Romualdez na they will not support in any other way yung PI? Because according to PIRMA, they are working um, on this, on the PI, in coordination with the Congress. I no longer want to fight with my colleagues in Congress. <laughs> One week po ako hindi nakakatulog. Kaya hindi na ako nakakasagot sa inyo dahil may inaayos po tayong gusot and um, we were able to get consensus from, from everyone, including the President. I think those questions about the Speaker should be asked to the speaker. Mm, was there a how can you how can you guard um, the the eventual proposal of other members of for example Senate uh, with respect to kasi sabi niyo nga po economic provision lang pero syempre independent uh, minded naman ng mga senators and some really want some political uh, amendments. Well, ang mangyayari diyan uh, my dear colleagues when discussions on, for example, the, if you see the resolution that we will file today, nakapirma na kaming tatlo, if you see the resolution that we file today, it's limited to yung um, amendments to public services, as well as education, and uh, as well as um, uh, advertising. We got the guide from the president. Uh, we, I hope that the president will not... Uh, be upset if I share this information. Pero si President mismo ayaw niya ng lupa na ibigay sa foreigners. Siya mismo nagsabi, malabo yun. He said that, uh, and I quote the President, this will give us problems in our housing program. It will increase tax rates and it will increase prices of uh, land in the Philippines. And he even cited some countries kung saan na may foreign ownership na yung mga mismong Locals ay hindi na po nakaka-afford ng lupa doon at lumalabas na. Kaya na nga nagkakaroon ng Asian hate dahil may mga areas like Vancouver, Toronto, and Canada wherein a lot of uh, Chinese, Hong Kong nationals pumunta doon, binili lahat ng property. Yung mga Canadians na original na, na lumalabas na, hindi na nila ma-afford yung, yung uh, lupa at uh, apartments doon sa mga lugar na yun. So we like to thank the president for that, for that because we are one in the Senate also not to agree on uh, foreign land ownership. Uh, so maganda, meron po siyang direction na sinabi, uh, keep away land uh, from uh, ownership. Sir, sir. And even media, sabi niya, ayaw din niya ng media kasi uh, kung may foreign ownership of media, baka mag-influence peddling pa yan dito on certain agendas. So ayaw din yan po yun. Oh. So we're limiting it as far as the Senate is concerned, in that Thursday night discussion, we're, limi we're limiting it to the scope of the Public Services Act, education, because we feel, lahat po kami naniniwala, na bakit hindi makapasok ang Harvard dito, ang Yale, ang Stanford, Pwede naman sila mag-set up ng skwelaan dito. They do it in Singapore. They do it in other countries. So we should allow them para ang tumas naman ang dekalidad ng ating edukasyon. Um, and of course, uh, we're limiting it to these three right now. Sir, two, two more questions lang, yeah, sir. Uh, Pabusin sir, ko na lang si and, and then, oh, oh, Sorry, Marlon Sandel. Right, um, sir, so pumayag doon si Speaker na... Uh, in the first place, aware si Speaker na merong ganitong resolution and he agreed na in the end, at the end of the day, they will just vote uh, according to to your version. Ganun po. That was the agreement that we had made in Malacanang on the 11th of January at 4 p.m. Okay. Sir, last question. So, so yan yung agreement po namin and I hope uh, uh, um, all parties will, will agree and uh, and we thank the president for that because at uh, ang totoo diyan talaga magkakaroon ng constitutional crisis. Hindi po talaga papayag. Alam mo, lahat ng mga kasamahan ko atat na atat na umatake. At sabi ko sa kanila, pag lumaban tayo, there's a point of no return. Kasi kung magkakainitan ng dugo ang House and uh, Senate, paano, na, paano natin may papasay yung mga batas natin? E kung ayaw mo, ayaw mo makipag-usap sa congressmen, how do we do the bicams, the bicameral conferences? How do we do our ledak? Magkakagulo, masyado mainit. So, ang talo dyan ang taong bayan. 
So I had to keep a cooler head, and um, even if it was very difficult for me not to say anything about this issue, we wanted to find a win-win solution that would limit uh, the impact uh, in terms of uh, 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 constitu a constitutional crisis with both houses of Congress. Sir, one last question from my end. Is this going to be a priority? Is it going to be priority? It will be a priority uh, by uh, the Senate as far as we're concerned. Only, only on economic provisions, yan, we will have public hearings. And in these public hearings, we will have debates. And as you said, kung meron man mag-propose mag, mag, uh, mag, uh, uh, ng controversial, dito sa Senado, term limits or removal of term limits or uh, change of government, I'm sure the members of the committee, the subcommittee, or kung gusto ng ating mga babae, gawin natin na committee on the whole uh, to be uh, presided by uh, myself and Senator Angara, we can put it on a vote. And obviously, ano yan, 18 votes at each time. Sa committee level, para paglabas na committee report, that was voted upon by two, three-fourths of the members, your final committee report, and then we'll put it in plenary and make a vote on a, again uh, for 18 votes or for three-fourths vote.